So now let's have a look on what are the different applications of the computer graphics. The topics that I'm going to be covering in this video is the introduction to the computer graphics and what are the features of the computer graphics and what are the uses of the computer graphics. Then we will have a look on the applications. Because first of all, try to understand what exactly the graphics is. Okay, with the help of these users and the functions only, you can get an aware of what exactly the applications are, right? Excuse me. So, introduction. A computer graphics helps in generating. So, for first of all, for what we are using this computer graphics? For generating the pictures, graphs, or drawings on a computer screen. So, we are trying to able to draw a diagrams on the computer screen only because of this computer graphics. It really makes an object object uh, alive. Means whatever the object you are able to see on the screen, it shoots like it is having some life. Okay, so computer graphic technology is used in the digital photography, video games, display on mobile phones, computers, etc. So whatever the uh, electronic gadgets you are working on and you are uh, you are using that, all those uh, electronic gadgets, uh, the display is consisting of the computer graphics only. Without the computer graphics, you can't see the image properly on the screen. Okay. So, whatever the mobile phones you are using, those mobile phone displays also you are having a computer graphics or uh, installed there. Simply, we can say the computer graphics is a method of drawing images, lines, charts and other visuals on the computer screen only with the help of the programming. This is very, very important. A programming is that for drawing the pictures. You can't simply, here you are drawing a line and here you are drawing an image. So, how you are going to draw everything this because of the programming only. So, the programming that is installed in your computer. So, with the help of that programming only, you are able to draw the pictures on the screen. Okay. Now, let's have a look on the features. A computer graphic is helpful in performing operations on objects such as rotation, scaling and translation. Okay. It is helpful performing operations on these objects uh, so whatever the object you are taken so that object is going to be rotate and it going to be a uh, scaling and it going to be translated okay based on the this computer graphics it also adds effects of on an object such as shading transparency surface removal you can also create if suppose if your image is there okay your picture is there on your system you can change your pictures you can change your display of your pictures if you take your mobile phone what you're doing you're trying to shade your picture you can create make it as a black and white and you're giving a shades to that picture you can change the background your picture and you can change your the skin tone of your picture everything you can do how because of this computer graphics only it has interactive nature and preview capability. It provides control to the user to perform operations on the pictures or a graphic object. So these are the main features of the computer graphics. Now let's have a look on the what are the uses of the computer graphics. Okay, I'm using the computer graphics. So why am I using? Because it is having so many users. What are those? There are several uses of computer graphics that are useful in the current scenario. Some of them are graphics are used in computer program development. So for developing the program, these graphics are useful. For making movies, computer graphics are playing a vital role. Okay, without graphics, the people nowadays are not able to watch the movie also, especially the kids. The kids wants complete animations, the kids wants complete the graphics uh, uh, videos, then only they are attracting to watch the, uh, anything. <coughs> Creating video games. So, for creating video games, a graphics should be compulsory. For catalog designing, graphics are used. For creating commercial arts in area of scientific models, still so many users are there. Okay, I had given some of the users here. So, because of all these users, uh, users, the computer graphics are nowadays very, very, uh, playing a very, very vital role. Okay. Now, let's have a look on the applications of area, uh, application areas of a computer graphics. A computer graphics are going to be used in the area of uh, computer art, computer aided drawing, presentation graphics, entertainment, education world, training environment, visualization, image processing, machine drawing, and the graphical user interface. So these are all the different application areas where the computer graphics are using. Now, let's have a look on each and every application in detail with an example, okay? Now, 
Now let's have a look on the computer art. Computer art. Where you are drawing your pictures? You can use different tools like draw.io. You can use your, your MS Paint, Microsoft Paint, whatever it is present in your uh, system. Okay. And a different online uh, applications are also provided where you can draw the images. Uh, that you call it as a computer art. Comes to an application that mostly we used in computers for making art. That is the mostly we use MS Paint. With the help of computer graphics and MS Paint, we can create a fine and commercial art which includes the animation package, paint package, CAD packages which are useful in providing facilities for designing object shapes and specifying object motions. For example, if you take the computer art or logo designing, a best example is a logo designing. So for companies or for colleges, for industries, for institutes, whatever you are taking, a logo design should be a compulsory, right? So for designing that logo, you are using the computer art. So for cartoon drawings, product advertisements also, we are trying to use this computer art. For creating a fine arts, it requires a special hardware. So if you want to make it a more fine art, try to install a special hardware in your system, a graphics uh, a card you can install. So there are various types of application softwares available like Coral Draw, Photoshop, Adobe Muse, which are includes the graphics designs. So this is about the computer art application. Now let's have a look on what is the CAD application. Computer aided design. It is used to designing buildings, automobiles, aircraft, spacecrafts and many more. So for uh, designing all this purpose, uh, for all this, we are using the CAD software. So it is mainly used in building prototypes, manufacturing process and also used for finished products. Uh, the CAD software package provides multi-window environment. It is going to provide a multi-window environment. Where a, wherever the designing is required, a CAD software is used. So in the designing world, so wherever you, if you want to draw the buildings, if you want to work on the automobiles, we have to use the CAD software. The majority of engineering and architecture students are concerned with the design. So CAD is used to design various structures such as computers, aircrafts, buildings in almost all types of industries. This CAD software is going to be used. We can also see the operations and working of the product after creating comprehensive diagrams. So you can able to watch a live like it's a simulation. <laughs> By using the, sim uh, the simulation technique is also because of this CAD uh, software only. So in the simulation, you can see the operation and working condition of the product also. CAD producing more accurate and sharp drawings with a better specification. Now coming to the next application, presentation of graphics. The presentation graphics are used to display the reports like summarized financial, uh, financials, statisticals, mathematical, scientific, economic data for research and customer information billet examples of presentation graphics are bar graphs bar charts or bar graphs line graphs pie charts time charts etc with the help of the graphical presentation the user can easily understand the points okay now coming to the next so this is one of the most most everyone is a daily working on it entertainment in the entertainment world how this computer graphics are used entertainment is a part of human life Obviously, so if you want to make some fun, if you want to uh, relax your time, what are you going to do? You are trying to watch a movies or trying to watch the TVs or games, whatever it may be. Okay, so entertainment is a part of a human life. Everyone prefer to spend some time for entertainment by watching movies, playing games, TV shows, etc. For creating this entertainment world, the graphics are playing very important role. If you take the movie industries, let me take your two points, uh, a movie industry and the game industry. In the movie industry, computer graphics used in the motion pictures, music videos, television shows and also making cotton films. But whereas in the game industry, the computer graphics focus on interactivity, cost effective solutions and avoiding computations. Now coming to the education, students, education, in the education world also we are using a computer graphics. Because of using this graphic system only, the students are going to attract. So nowadays, whatever, everything is going on online, the education system. So uh, 
most of the students are trying to attract only to the videos of whatever the uh, graphics are present okay so with the graphic system everything the if the video is presented the students or the kids are going to attract more in education field computer graphics are helpful for teaching a large number of concepts in an easy manner rather than writing content pictorial representation always clear to understand that is right or wrong tell me it's obviously 100% right so if you re rather than reading the text if you see the image it is very clear for to understand so many education models are created using computer graphics to create an interest to the students acquiring the knowledge and abilities necessary for a better career path computer graphics is required throughout the learning process so as a result computer generated models in economic financial physical and are often employed now coming to the training so in the training environment also these applications are very important one of the important applications of computer graphic is the training we can create a different training modules using computer graphics in a very easy manner for a training purpose simulators can be used that is what i said by using the cad you can create a simulator so using those simulators you can uh, train the students so the candidates can be grasped in a short span of time with a better understanding next visualization Scientific visualization produces a graphic representation for scientific, engineering, medical data sets. If you take the data visualization aids in finding insights of data to check and study the behavior of a process, for this we need of appropriate visualization which can be achieved through proper usage of computer graphics. Changing information over the virtual uh, visual structure can assist with. understanding mass volume of information effectively the main example of this uh, visualization here is analyzing satellite photo of earth okay next is image processing so image processing also it's playing a vital role in the field of in the human life the main application of computer graphics in processing of existing image into refined ones for better interpretation so editing of photographs or images using graphics is a technique for image processing so if you take the medical field in the medical field image processing is play, playing a very vital role like in the tomography for uh, taking the pictures of tomography ultra medical scanners picture enhancements for all this this image processing technique will be used next is a machine drawing the computer graphics are used for designing modifying and creation of various parts of a machine that we know that right and even for whole machine designing computer graphics is required that is what i am saying The reference for using computer graphics in the field of machine drawing is to get the precious and the clarity on machine, which is ultimate and desired for the safe manufacturing of machine. So, for the safe manufacturing of machine, we are trying to use the computer graphics in the machine designing also. Next is graphical user interface. The uses of pictures, images, icons, pop-up menus, graphics. objects help in creating a user friendly environment where working is easy and pleasant using computer graphics so by using computer user inter uh, graphical user interface we can create such as atmosphere where everything can be automated and everyone can get the desired action performed in an easy fashion so these are all the different uh, applications that we use uh, that uses a computer graphics so all these applications whatever i said there those are all playing a very very important uh, role in the human life when we are working in a, in, a, in this digital world in the in this environment okay so whatever the online environment we are working whatever the digital environment we are we are using okay we are living so in this uh, field so these computer graphics are playing a vital so i hope you understand students thank you still if you are facing any doubt please let me know thank you